It's time once again for that business show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Wins WHNZ, where business becomes show business. Jamie is a leading Tampa Bay real estate agent and featured on the Wall Street Journal's list of top 100 real estate agents in the nation. Jamie invites you to list your home with him today and learn more at tampabayradio.com. Now, live in studio and promoting the entrepreneurial spirit that drives the American economy, your host, Jamie Maloney. Hey, good morning, everybody, and thanks for starting off the uh, the new work week here with That Business Show with Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. Hope everybody had a good break on the uh, 4th of July weekend. I know I did. It took a Friday off, and as well as uh, yesterday, uh, Julianne Nichols filled in for me on uh, Friday, did an excellent job of uh, hosting uh, the uh, program and just another great supporter of the show. So just want to thank uh, Julianne Nichols, CEO of Focus on You Strategy for holding it down. And yesterday was a uh, rerun. So we're back off to a uh, fresh start here on this uh, July 5th uh, post uh, uh, 4th of July holiday uh, weekend. And again, I had a great weekend myself, spent it down in Miami. Uh, strangely enough, that was the first time I've ever even been to Miami. I've been in Tampa, or actually, I should say Florida for 20 years now and never found my way down to Miami until this past uh, 4th of July weekend. And so I had a good time down there and uh, got to see South Beach and all the amazing uh, stuff that goes on down there and had some good times down there. You mean all the amazing bikinis down <laughs> that there? That is true. Yeah, it's true. Unfortunately, I did not fit in in that environment, uh, but uh, it's always nice to watch Who doesn't it. fit in that environment? And I just don't have that, that beach body, I guess. So, But uh, yeah, definitely I had a, had a good time down there. doesn't matter what you look like, man. <laughs> <laughs> just matter what the others look like, right? Mm-hmm. So, how was uh, your weekend? It was crazy. Uh, I moved all weekend, and we shot a bunch of concert footage on Friday and Saturday, so I'm pretty much... You know, I'm exhausted. Any concert? Who? Uh, any big names you saw this weekend? No, not really. I mean, there was some Tom Petty tribute band that was a little surreal. I cool. mean, because it was the guy looked like Tom Petty, but a fat version of Tom Petty, <laughs> right? So I saw Tom was, Petty uh, last year. As a matter of fact, a great show and a great performer. Yeah, so, but well, he, he saw a tribute band, huh? Well, yeah. I mean, it was. I don't. Know, I think tribute bands; those people need help. <laughs> Something to do, I, right? Yeah. I mean, I guess uh, <laughs> if that's your hobby, you want to be somebody else. I mean, hey, sometimes they uh, pick singers out of those things and stuff the uh, journey uh, lead singer right now being one of those Arnold great Pineda, success stories. Yeah. yeah one of those great success stories he was a tribute but, band I mean, off he of uh, didn't youtube act like steve parish is it? steve perry, steve perry. Mm-hmm. yeah he didn't act like him he just sang like him. he sang like he doesn't look or act like yeah. him yeah no. nothing like him and everything but, but uh, tribute yeah bands that's another story i mean they you know mannerisms everything they emulate who they're trying to who they're trying well, you to have portray. tribute bands you have cover bands and you'll hear people yeah. discuss the differences in those things but nonetheless uh obviously a lot of people you know not but i mean obviously a lot of people hoping to become you know successful off of uh youtube oh, they and make tribute tons bands. of money and they sell out shows yeah uh, this, people this, like them yeah, yeah people uh, taylor's in the studio with me today but he was there i mean he'll he'll tell you the crowd was popping they loved it yeah but it was uh, i didn't like it good uh good show planned for you today on the second part of today's uh, show we'll be talking to uh, marcus gibbs a uh, marketing director for donation station so that's going to be a discussion on cause marketing so if people that are not familiar with that that's how you pair uh, that's where you pair up a nonprofit and a for-profit together to increase awareness for the nonprofit and also the bottom line for the for-profit company so uh, it's a little known marketing technique and uh, uh, opportunity out there for uh, people to learn about so cause and marketing will be the discussion on the second part of today's show but at first i have returning guests to the program madison harrison with with photos with Madison, and she just photographed the President of the United States, which was her goal and last time she was on the program, and she's back today to discuss and tell us about this uh, monumental event for herself. So, Madison, welcome back to the program today. Thank you. So, first off, let's start. Madison is a, she's still nine years old, correct? Yes. And her mother, Andrea, is with her, and so you started a company called Photos with Madison. So, tell us first off about your company, Photos with Madison. Well... Photos with Madison is a photography business, and I like taking photos of little girls and their dolls or boys with their toys. And when did you start this company? I started this when I was seven years old. And how did this come about? You got a camera for your birthday or something, if I remember right, correct? Um, no. My, no, I was actually experimenting with my mom's old camera, and then, and then it, sparked right there (laughs) so what was your first photography shoot your what was the first time you actually made it a business and not for fun well i made it i made it a business when when i went to my my mom's friend's photo studio and i asked her if i could rent the studio 
And she said yes. And I paid $2 an an hour. Wow, two dollars an hour. <laughs> I wish I could get those kind of fees. <laughs> but so, but that's nice. You had the uh, the foresight to say, you know, here is you know something in exchange for something that you're giving me. So you have that entrepreneurial spirit right there. And so your business today focuses then on taking pictures of your friends, their dolls, correct? Mm-hmm. Now, have you inspired other nine year old children in your class to start their own business too? This is obviously not something the typical nine year old thinks about. Well, um, my best friend Ayla wants to start her own fashion business, and I have another best friend Logan that also wants to start their own fashion business. Wow, this is an incredible little incredible story here. And Andrea Harrison, her mother here, who's also a business owner, tantalizing tablescapes and decor. Andrea, you know, tell me just a little bit about you know the inspiration here that your daughter has. Well, I think what happened um, when Madison was three years old is when she first picked up the camera to take pictures at her birthday party. Um, and uh, probably about a year before she started her business, I uh, had started my business. And I think there was something that sparked in her that she wanted to do. You know what mommy was doing, and she wanted to start a business. And so she... <laughs> That's um, how I became an alcoholic, actually. <laughs> I wanted to be like my dad. <laughs> so she, she um, asked uh, our friend... Um, if she could uh, take pictures at her studio, have a photo shoot. And um, like Madison said, she paid $2 an hour. Mm -hmm. She was there for about three hours. And Madison made flyers, um, and we put them out on Facebook. And when she asked uh, my friend, um, why did she want to um, rent out the studio? Why did she want to have a photo shoot? And Madison told her, because I need exposure for my business. And so it was really kind of cool to see that, you know, she caught on to the concept and uh, 12 little girls showed up and Madison, I don't even think she ate. Like, I don't think she stopped to (laughs) eat. She was very, very serious, but she's done so much more than just take pictures of like kids. I mean, she's um, photographed events for uh, working women of Tampa Bay. She's done three weddings so far, um, two of which she was a second shooter. Um, one of them, she was requested by the bride. They didn't want any other photographer other than Madison. Um, and she's done lots of local um, fashion shows with the fashion movement here in Tampa. She's so done Madison, you were, you were a, ph- a photographer at a <laughs> wedding. I mean, that's a very difficult uh, <laughs> venue to photograph for anybody. Tell me, was it challenging as a nine-year-old girl to photograph a wedding? Well, it kind of was because of my height, <laughs> and I had to move around just to get the right photo. Mm-hmm. You and mean like this uh, photo we have right here that's up on the live stream? Are you standing on, it looks like a stepladder? Yeah, yes. there's a photo of her right there taking a picture, and that's at the uh, the the, uh, the uh, president's event that you took yeah. uh, about mm-hmm. just so uh, Just, just saying, that. she looks way more professional than I do when I'm on the job. <laughs> <laughs> so at the, at the wedding, though, did you have a challenge, you know, getting people to believe you were the actual uh, photographer for the event? Yes, um, actually, one person person was like you're cute where's the real photographer oh, no. and you're like i am the real photographer huh <laughs> that's exactly what she said <laughs> yeah <laughs> so you've done three weddings so far you've done a number of different events but your niche is your friends and then the the dolls and things like that why is that your niche why do you like to take pictures of your friends and their dolls well because i like getting photos of my dolls and i and we play and I said little sceneries, and it's just so cool. Yeah, and so this is a way to keep your memories for later in life when you get older and stuff, and you can look back and share these with your, your friends and family, None, no doubt about that. Mm-hmm. Now, you recently got to go up to Washington to photograph the president, and this is all of as a result of a hashtag campaign that you used. Tell people what you were doing. Well, I went on Twitter and used this hashtag, Help Madison Meet POTUS, and... Then the United States of Women saw it and said, we'd love for you to come here. <laughs> and I registered, registered and they said, they said, I can come. And then we, they sent us the agenda and I was scrolling and I saw the president was going to speak, Joe Biden was going to speak, um, the First Lady, Oprah Winfrey, everyone. <laughs> And so you got invited to Washington. You got to sit in the press box with the other uh, photographers and media person. Now, uh, what was that experience like for you as a nine-year-old girl? It was just 
Amazing. <laughs> Did you have to go through a bunch of background checks and screening when you got up there? Were you kind of whisk around like a like a, a VIP? What was it like in the events? Well, to get there, they said those um you know things you walk through and the metal, the metal, metal detectors, detectors and security and, checks, and yeah. they had the um the buckets where you put the stuff in, <laughs> and I'm like. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and so you got into, you're in the front row, right? Or you're up very close to the president, correct? Yes. And Josh, do we have some of the pictures there? Uh, that yeah, you've I've been throwing them up you've here. You've been throwing them up? Yeah. Okay, okay. Here, so I'll do it again. I've been right? see the, the a, Wow, that's an incredible shot of President Obama just right there. Now, what other shots did you get? You got President Biden. Did you get a shot with Oprah Winfrey, too? Or are you yes. just near Oprah Winfrey? There you go, Jamie. Oprah was There's uh, Oprah. up on the stream right now. Wow, it's like you're right there in front of her. Incredible shots on top of that. So if you're watching the live video stream, Stream, which you can see over at Tampa Bay Radio. You can see these shots, and of course, they'll be made available on demand over on our YouTube channel. And so, did you get to talk to the president and meet him personally? No, I wish. Oh, that's too bad. So, but did he know you were in the audience? Did he? Maybe if somebody had told him, he would have invited you up. Did you think? Did he? Was he aware that you were in the audience? Such yeah. a young entrepreneur. Well, well um, one of the um, ladies that work for the United States of Women. I gave them my card and magazine to give to them, and I don't know if it got to them, him or <laughs> not, but I hope it did. Well, we hope it did, too, and this was hosted by uh, the First Lady, correct, Michelle Obama, and so you got a photograph with her, you know, Biden, with Oprah Winfrey. Uh, who else was there? Who else did you see? Um, I saw um, Sophia Bush. I met, got to meet her, and... Gail King. Ga Gail, Gail King. King. I got to meet her, too. Yeah. And so this was all as a result of a hashtag campaign. And for people out there, like, what's a hashtag campaign? <laughs> if, you, if you see a pound sign in front of a, uh, a word on social media, that's what a hashtag campaign is. Yeah, and just check any teenager's uh, you <laughs> yeah. know, Facebook Some of my older listeners are like, real quick. what's a hashtag campaign? I never yeah. heard of that. But uh, And so somebody from the uh, United States of Women saw this and then invited you up to photograph the president. So last year when Madison was a, uh, a guest on the program, she had not had this accomplishment yet. And we were spreading around the hashtag and hopefully to get her that that appearance and it it's came a great through feeling for her to know through. a nine-year-old's done more in her short career than you have in like the long <laughs> career that you've had <laughs> exactly you know, you know, another yeah. thing though is that that, that, uh, that when they when they got to uh, photograph um what was it oprah um there was no gift under the seat was there <laughs> no. Um, no gift <laughs> that's right oprah's known for giving stuff away on her show right so i got yeah, you like you can get to meet the president you can get the gift but I, I have a feeling that she's going to do a lot more. I mean, that's an amazing not, start. Even being the you press, do something like that. Now you're a member of the press uh, elite or press corps now as a result of this, right? You can go to other events with this press pass that she has here. Tell us about you know some of the opportunities this has opened up for you. Well, yes, Madison has a White House. She's part of the White House press pool, and um, since we've come back from the event, she continuously gets uh, press releases and um, emails. Uh, about the different things that they're doing, you know, if Michelle Obama is doing something. Um, she's traveled already um, to three different countries um, for her initiative, Let Girls Learn, and Madison has gotten all of those updates. Wow. And, yeah, so any other events that come up, uh, Madison can use these media credentials. I wanted to mention, though, what was really wow. cool, two things that were really cool when we were there. One, um, a couple of people came up to me and said, wow, it's so nice of you that you brought your daughter. That's so admirable. <laughs> and I'm like, um, no, she brought me. <laughs> and and the other cool thing that happened was there were a couple of times where the first time when we when we got to the press box, uh, a lady from the White House came over and she says, are you Madison? We've, we, we've been expecting you. We're very happy to see you. And um, they said, we're going to come back and we're going to take you up to the front so you can get really good pictures. And uh, she, they did that a couple of times. Um, and I had to sit back there and just kind of wait till she comes back. And at one point, I got really nervous. I'm like, okay, um, it's taking a little bit too long now. When are they coming back with my daughter? Mm -hmm. And um, so I asked some questions. And the lady said, ma'am, this is the safest your daughter is ever going to be don't worry about her right um but if so it was just such an amazing experience and it was really overwhelming just to be in the same room with the president yeah. of the united states incredible got to take a break here but she has a new uh, goal now we'll talk about that when we come back from a break currently talking to madison harrison alongside her mother andrea and you can learn more about her at photoswithmadison.com you're listening to that business show with jamie maloney where business becomes show business in an age when the good and the better vie for attention it is the best that stands out 
The best of Tampa Bay from Proudly, Florida, is the love story for the city of Tampa, celebrating success, sharing achievements, a tribute to enterprise, and community spirit. Let Proudly, Florida showcase your business to your city, your nation, and the world. For more information, email info at ProudlyFlorida.com and be sure to visit ProudlyFlorida.com. Are you in need of new flooring or ready to tackle that home remodeling project? Then contact Jaeger & Company Incorporated, a family-owned, state-certified general contracting business with over 70 years of experience and the recipient of the Angie's List Super Service Award for the last eight years in multiple categories. Jaeger & Company comes to you with their Shop at Home Flooring Sales Service and their hardwood flooring refinishing is the very best in the Bay. Kitchen and bath design featuring American-made, well-born cabinets and all work is done by employees, not subcontractors. Learn more at JaegerFlooring.com. If you've been following that business show on Facebook and Twitter, you may have noticed the quality of some of our images. That's because one of our sponsors is pro photographer Rick Taseda, a member of the Professional Photographers of America. You can view his extensive work by going to his website at RickTaseda.com or call him for an appointment to chat about your photography needs at 813-641-4757. That's 813-641-4757. 4757. Rick Tosseda Visuals. Call him for your next event or project. Savvy business owners utilize technology to connect with customers, communicate among teams, and collaborate with partners. Even with advances in technology, you all know it's not infallible. Where do you turn when your technology starts working against you? Who do you depend on to keep your team productive? Don't wait until your technology fails you. Get ahead of the crisis and contact the professionals at Alpha Computing Solutions so they can show you how to keep your technology running smoothly. Visit them online at www.alphacomputing.com. Computing.com. Attention medical professionals. Have you heard that Tampa Bay will become the first certified wellness district in the country? Thanks to Jeff Fennick's revitalization of Channel Side, the Dr. Whisperer wants to streamline your efforts and preparation. So when you're ready to ignite your practice, use the Dr. Whisperer's public relations expertise to spread the word. Use the Dr. Whisperer to motivate your staff. And use the Dr. Whisperer to recruit and secure leaders within your practice. Call the Dr. Whisperer today at 727-420-2481 or visit the thedrwhisperer.com where they write your prescription for success who doesn't have a smartphone these days and of course there's an app for everything well almost everything that's why the folks at popcorn apps started developing mobile applications they saw people like you with genius ideas unable to make those thoughts a reality they develop applications for tens of thousands of dollars less than you'll find anywhere else and will turn your idea into a reality in a matter of just a few months think you're not ready think again They are your one-stop shop for mobile application development. See them at popcornapps.com with a K in popcorn or call them at 727-415-6705 for your free consultation and pop your kernel of an idea into a million-dollar business and a world changer starting today from the RP Funding Traffic Network. Good morning. Really, our only significant delay this morning is on northbound 275 from Midspan on the Howard Franklin Bridge into the West Shore area. Also, some delays on southbound State Road 60 approaching those ramps to northbound 275 and westbound I-4, a bit slow approaching 275 between the Selma Connector and downtown. See traffic problems? Call the injury firm of Abrahamson and Uderick Hillsborough Traffic Tip Line 866-545-9595. This report is brought to you by the Foundation for a Better Life. When Marlon Shirley was five, He lost his foot. Today, as the world's fastest amputee, he runs the 100 meters in less time than it takes to listen to this. Overcome it. Pass it on. From a foundation for a better life. Today, a mix of sun and clouds. Hot and humid. High 92. Tonight, partly cloudy. Low 80. Tomorrow, just a 20% rain chance. A high 92. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Wins WHNZ. Missed a show? Then head over to tampabayradio.com where all shows are available on demand. Once again, here's your host, Jamie Maloney. And welcome back to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. In studio with Madison Harrison, my youngest entrepreneur ever to be featured on the program, and she's a returning guest. And recently back from uh, the uh, from Washington where she got to photograph the President of the United States, which was her goal last time she was on the program last year and so you can learn more about her at photoswithmadison.com and she's also joined in studio alongside her mother andrea harrison who is the owner of tantalizing tablescapes and decor so madison you have a new goal now you photograph the president tell me about your new goal Photograph the oscars on the red carpet okay and so do you have a hashtag uh, developed for this campaign um yes 
help Madison go to the Oscars help or something like that. Help Madison photograph. <laughs> yes. Help Madison photograph the Oscars. She's okay. like, talk to my people. I don't know, man. I'm just the <laughs> artist. All right. So her new goal is to photograph the Oscars. So the hashtag is now help Madison photograph the Oscars. Why did you choose the Oscars as your next goal to photograph? Well, I love watching it and some of the um, cameras that they have aren't so good. <laughs> so, I thought... True sign of a professional. Dog the competition. <laughs> I'm better than everybody, right? <laughs> well, I thought that I could, um, y- you know, photograph it and be so cool. Mm-hmm. And so what do you plan to do as uh, when you get older? Do you want to be a photographer? Or what do you want to do? What are you going to... What do you want to do? Do you want to be? be? It sounds to me she already is, bro. <laughs> I actually want to be a, a scientist and find a cure to cancer. Oh, wow. Incredible. So why did you want to choose a, a career in medicine? Well, I have lots of family men- members and friends, and friends, fr- family members that have died of cancer or that is battling cancer. Oh, incredible. And, and that you're so so in touch with, you know, reality at such a young age. I remember at age nine, the only thing I cared about was was playing was playing baseball. So, <laughs> now, Andrew, what have you what have you done to inspire uh, Madison at such a young age? Is well, it just I all natural? You, um, Jamie, it takes a village. You know, I don't do this alone, of course. You know, I've, um, my husband, Madison's father, is very much a big part of um, of her success. And, um, you know, it takes a village. We have family members that love on Madison very much. And what we do is we just continue to encourage her. And we are her best advocates and uh, Mm -hmm. guide her and just, you know, um, just love on her and watch her grow. It's it's amazing. I've said it before. It's it's an honor to be her mother. Now she is on, and she's not just on this program. She's on a media tour today, and this yeah, is not her first. Bail out of here to get the channel ten out here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she's uh, been on a number of different media outlets, and you can see the different appearances and uh, places she's been at on photoswithmadison.com. dot uh, But uh, like for the rest of the day, what's uh, your day uh, composed of today, Madison? Well, actually. Um, after this, I have to go to Channel 10 in order to do the 9 o'clock show with um, the Studio, the 10, Studio Live. 10 Live. Mm-hmm. Again, and, talk to my people. I'm just the artist. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then I have to go. And the, then there's a taped recording for um, 10 o'clock on ABC. Tampa Bay's Morning Blend. Yeah. And actually, what are you doing tonight at 630? I'm actually photographing um, my friend, Mr. Robbie's um, kids. Yeah, she's got a photo shoot to do of um, uh, her friend, Mr. Bobby, Bobby Lewis from Channel 10. He's um, <laughs> doing her, doing his pictures. Well, incredible story. <laughs> and for uh, parents out there with uh, young children who would like to uh, keep their uh, you know, young youth alive through photographs and their dolls and stuff, that's what mm-hmm. Madison Harrison uh, specializes in. And so you can give her a call at 813-625-5502, 813-625-5502, or visit photoswithmadison.com. So Madison and Andrea, thank you so much for being in studio. Thank you. Thank you for having us, Jamie. <laughs> Incredible story. And again, help her uh, photograph uh, the Oscars. She just photographed the uh, president through a hashtag campaign. So again, help Madison uh, photograph or photo the Oscars. We'll put that up on the show recap. So if you can spread it around social media, we would greatly appreciate it. Coming back from the break, we'll be talking with Marcus Gibbs, marketing director for Donation Station about cause marketing on that business show. Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business.
I feel guilty that I can't always be there when mom feels stuck at home. She was always there for us. But now she can't get out and I'm not always available to take her places. Someone else needs to help her get around. Then I learned about home instead. Now mom can do what she enjoys because her personal caregiver is there. And I can just be a daughter again. Are you struggling to care for your loved one? We can help. Home Instead Senior Care. To us, it's personal. Hi, welcome to Yeagers. We just want to take a minute and show you what we're all about. Uh, at Yeagers, our primary business is hardwood flooring, although we are remodelers for kitchen, bath, and general construction. We operate a fleet of shop-at-home vans that have all the flooring-type products, hardwood flooring, laminate flooring, tile, stone, what have you. So we're able to come out first with products in our vehicles and take a look at the setting, how the colors will work, and then to be able to come up with some options and ideas for you. If that's not good enough, we have a large distribution center that we inventory product and have a nice display area. between the Selma Connector and downtown. See traffic problems? Call the injury firm of Abrahamson and Uderick Hillsborough Traffic Tip Line 866-545-9595. This report is brought to you by Foundation for a Better Life. This is water. Can you feel this, Helen? Yes, water. Helen, it's water. Deaf and blind, Helen Keller overcame her world of darkness. Foresight. Pass it on from the Foundation for a Better Life at values.com. 1250 winds, weather center forecast, low 90s for the high today, 30% chance of scattered showers and storms, partly sunny skies, low nearing 80 degrees right during the upper 70s. It's going to be a bit warmer midweek, uh, see a few mid-90s pop up inland and to the south. Impact Radio, 1250 winds, WHNZ. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Wins WHNZ. Missed a show? Then head over to tampabayradio.com where all shows are available on demand. Once again, here's your host, Jamie Maloney. And we're back to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney where business becomes show business. Weekday mornings 7 and 9 here on Tampa Bay's 1250 Wins WHNZ. Also video stream available over on tampabayradio.com. Over there, you'll see also that you can see all shows available on demand and also that I sell real estate. So if I can help you buying or selling real estate in the Tampa Bay region, uh, please consider me your resource. We got a, a free home valuation tool up on the homepage of tampabayradio.com. And uh, if you put in your home's uh, information, we can get you over a uh, free home valuation and can get those out within 24 to 48 hours usually. Need to get some inventory onto the marketplace out there. Very uh, a bleak situation out there in terms of inventory. A lot of buyers out there struggling to find a home because there's just nothing available out there right now. So you may get more than what your home is uh, or may get more than what you think your home is worth right now, I should say, because it's a very good seller's market. One of the best seller's markets I've seen in the uh, past nine years coming out of the uh, housing crisis back in uh, 2008. Also want to remind everybody about the uh, partnership with the Tampa Bay Business Owners, the show in conjunction with the Tampa Bay Business Owners, uh, raising awareness uh, for the uh, community of business owners here in the Tampa Bay region. The brand founded eight years ago by uh, Chris Kermitzos and uh, a lot of different events going on each and every month. And so I'd like to extend an invite to uh, the uh, community out there. Uh, tomorrow is our next main event at the Center Club from 5 to 7.30. It's going to be a presentation on how your business can afford health care with Dr. Eric J. Crawl. So it's our membership meeting. We do allow people to attend one time as a guest, but if you mention that you heard it on the radio show, uh, we'll let you come over there and uh, check that out. So uh, if you uh, email me, jamie at tampabayradio.com, we can uh, get you lined up and get you on the uh, guest list for that. And there are always good events anywhere between 100 and 150 people or more show up to that. It's good networking event and also just a great way to collaborate meet and learn from other business owners and it's uh, it's a little bit different from uh, some of the other business uh, groups out there like the chambers I mean we have a non-solicitation policy we're not in there to sell you stuff and uh, we're just in there to learn share grow and collaborate with one another so to learn more about that tbo.org and uh, also we have an events calendar over there so if you can't attend tomorrow's main event and you see another one you'd like to attend you know feel free to get in touch with me time to bring in my next guest for the program have Marcus Gibbs, Marketing Director for Donation Station, and you can learn more about this at the web station, donationstation.us, and he's joined in studio by Don the Gorilla beside him. So, so Marcus, welcome into the studio this morning. 
Good morning. Thank you for having us. So we're going to be discussing cause marketing, and so this is a, uh, I would say it's a you know lesser known concept in in the, in the marketing field, uh, but something that can be very uh, resourceful and successful if uh, executed properly. So for the community, tell us what cause marketing is. Well, what Donation Station does is partner companies that are for profit with non profit companies at the same time bring, bringing awareness to the non profit and the profit company at the same time increasing the return on investment for the profit company. Okay, so that's where the term cause, cause comes, from. comes from. It's not yeah. cause and effect, <laughs> which is what probably some people's mind naturally would go to if they're not familiar with the, the with the, the word cause marketing, but the profit company is employing the nonprofit in the sense that they are working for a cause mm. together. Uh, and so how did you come into this business? Well, actually we are one of our founders actually had a problem with one of his kids is autistic. And we found out that a lot of the companies that were trying to help them did not have all the marketing resources they needed. So Donation Station stepped in and said, you know what, we are going to be dedicated strictly to helping nonprofits market in the new current market and provide e-commerce solutions that are actually going to be beneficial for them and be able to raise funds faster and quicker with less staff. Okay, so let's uh, let's break it down for somebody. So there's about six different types of cause marketing out there. It's for, for instance, if you buy something, the, the for-profit company will donate a dollar or a percentage of the sale. But take us through, you know, what cause marketing is in the in the actual marketing system. Well, we, we actually do a little bit of also of what you just mentioned about selling a product and actually creating profit that way. But where Donation Station specializes on is in social media marketing. Most people don't know that if you provide information of whatever your nonprofit is, you can actually generate revenue by providing the information to a lot of users. We create a network for those users. We create Facebook pages for that user. We create Twitter social media aspect. We actually use uh, actually blogs and uh, also uh, what we call kind of bulletin boards that are in the local area to provide that information. But when people actually look at the information, we actually provide advertising with it. So advertisers that are in the profit business can actually partner with that nonprofit and those funds become available for the nonprofit very quickly. So who is your client then? Who are you working with out there? You're working to pair a for-profit with mm-hmm. a not-for-profit. Mm-hmm. Do you go out there and market to both of them and then pair them with another one of your for-profit clients if you're working with a nonprofit? I mean, how, how does your business work specifically? We actually go out and recruit nonprofit companies. The services to them are completely free. So basically we sit down on what they want to do, how what the funding is going to be for that year, and then we go out and market to not to profit companies that I want to partner with that nonprofit to be able to launch. Okay, so you're campaign. marketing to the nonprofits, mm-hmm. your services are free to the nonprofit, and then you're out there also marketing at the same time to the for profit companies and that's where your revenue is coming in from is from the for profit companies. The profit company, cool. And then so the the for profit companies then by, you know, co branding or marketing alongside the not for profit, then they, they hope to benefit the bottom line because of raising awareness for a non profit. People like to do business with companies that they trust or that they see are giving back in some way to the community, correct? Yes. And What's more important for the profit company is that now we're trying, we have a loyalty base set for, for that profit company. So your competitor might be able to step into your market share, but they really can due to the fact that you are, because of cost marketing, people that are involved in the nonprofit are not willing to change or go because of price or go over something that considers services. If the services are comparable, the profit company that is doing cost marketing is going to keep their market share greater for a longer period of time and not only becomes locally but generational also. So what are some of the results that you've seen uh, just at Donation Station alone uh, for the for-profit companies in terms of you know increasing their bottom line? Well, two of our, our, our major sponsors like Transamerica and Prime America are financial companies. And what they have found out is they'll be able to reach customers quicker, faster, and be able to provide their information at a lower cost to themselves. At the same time, creating revenue for themselves around 15 to 25% return on investment, and all at the same time, expanding the awareness for the nonprofit company. So both companies are actually profitable at the same time, and this community is actually getting a service that most times we will not get. So the benefit then for the nonprofit is raising awareness, and then the benefit for the nonprofit, I mean, sorry, for the for-profit is an increased bottom line because of the association with the nonprofit and the, you know, people wanting to give back, uh, uh, do business with people that are giving back to the community. That's that's the angle that cause marketing works for. Uh, you know, in, in the marketing business, how many companies, uh, just you know, generally speaking, even employ techniques such as cause marketing? Uh, we are the first in Tampa Bay using the system. 
and I'm very proud of that due to the fact that we are actually. I'm, I'm sorry, is that gorilla for real? Is everyone else seeing the gorilla? <laughs> Just, yes, that's, we'll, we'll talk about him in just a second. We'll talk about him in just a minute. But the reality is, is that in a competitive marketplace, especially in in this year, 2016, when we're pushing so much media and so many things to other people in our network, this is a way to actually gather loyalty. Loyalty is a big thing when we're talking about product share in your marketplace. You have other competitors that might come in, uh, somebody that has more funding or a bigger company, but because you're involved in cost marketing, you have a gross, grassroots level, and you will never lose that market share. Now, is there a niche for-profit company that fits well with cause marketing, or can any benefit any for-profit company benefit from cause marketing? Any profit company is, but it can be benefit benefited by cost marketing, no matter if you're selling radio, real estate, or if you're just basically uh, having a car wash, it really doesn't matter due to the fact that the nonprofit brings the network with them. And once the donations are made and the relationship established long term, they continue to do other projects together. We have an event every 30 days. And we, we, with our community advocates, our community leaders, we actually get together and try to create those projects to make sure that the nonprofit company is benefiting and the profit company also. Now, the company, is this a national company, international company, local company? Tell me just a little bit more about that. We actually do, do business nationwide. We do projects in St. Louis. We have done projects in California. We also do projects. Uh, we're trying to expand a little bit more in Tampa, but we also having a huge uh, uh, following down in Miami. But one of our new projects is the one that we're doing, uh, our black party that's going to be July 16 and the Fort Harrison, and where we're going to be shutting down uh, a whole street, and we're going to have companies that are pro-profit and non-profit to be able to display some of their uh, some of the services and actually create a little more awareness down in Clearwater. Okay, block party is that going to be a daytime event? Uh, yes, going to be a, uh, okay. going to be a full daytime event. I believe it's from twelve to to seven. Okay, if I'm correct. Uh, we're going to have vendors from all different parts of, of Tampa, and we actually have nonprofits actually going to be doing there, just trying to raise funds also for. Okay, because I've had a number of nonprofits that have come through here, and I've had you know from the very experienced and the ones who are running very well, but I've had nonprofits come through here just like set up last month, and they they have a cause and they they have a why, but they they're still learning the landscape and everything. So, can I put you in touch with people like that? Could they benefit from your services? Well, yes, because most nonprofits uh, they're there to help people. They want to be able to. Uh, follow their mission, but they also forget that there's a business part of it where they have to raise funds, they have to have market, and they have to have sales staff. And that's where we come in and we actually teach them how to do that side of the business and see how they can replicate those results over and over in their model and re generate revenue long term so they don't run out of funds at the end of the year. Now, your services then are also free to the nonprofits. How do you vet the nonprofits that you work with and what do they need? To, what uh, type of criteria do they have to begin to begin working with you? Believe it or not, there's no no uh, no criteria. We're trying to help every nonprofit out there due to the fact that they themselves are going out and filing their paperwork. As long as they got a 503C paperwork completed, we are willing to work with them. Okay. Well, I can put you in touch with a, a number of them right after the uh, the show here. Now, you're joined in studio by Don the Gorilla. So just the, uh, <laughs> finally, someone acknowledged this thing. It's been Josh, tripping me out all second. Josh thinks he's tripping over there because we're not talking about this gorilla that's on can this camera. But it's in short, right. it's a big, uh, probably about half the size of a person, and it's got multicolored hair. The hair looks like cotton candy, by the way, and it's up on our video stream over at Tampa Bay Radio. And it winks at you. <laughs> that is not happening. So, Josh, if you're seeing uh, that, that too is much not coffee. real. <laughs> Marcus, what is Don? Who is Don the Gorilla? Don the Gorilla goes to events all over the country. He actually travels with us. He helps bring awareness to a lot of the projects that we're launching uh, at the current time. Like this month, we're having the block party July 16th. He actually gets the following, which is 2,187, if I'm correct, on Facebook. I follow him every day, find out exactly what they're doing, how it can help. And he's out in the community just bringing awareness. Uh, a lot of the people that see Don usually ask us what and why he's with us and gives an opportunity to actually introduce Donation Station and the project that we're working at the current time. So now we're trying to get people to donate for him to have a, a oh, yeah, appearance I, fees. Well, I just gave you another <laughs> like at facebook.com forward slash Don the Gorilla. Where did he come from? Did he? Did you just happen to have Did you win him at a carnival one day? Did you just carry him home and people saw him and he He's caught a on? He's rocker from San Diego. <laughs> what is there? How did, how did you get started with Don the Gorilla? <laughs> Don was uh, donated to us uh, for us to sell. We actually, in one of our cost marketing events on the table event, uh, we were trying to bring awareness for Frankie's Friends, which is a pet foundation. And we were sitting there, and 
we're trying to explain to everybody what what they do, but nobody was paying attention. They were just talking to Don and taking pictures with Don and hanging out with Don. And one of the little kids was like, where can I find him on Facebook? <laughs> so all of a sudden, we started. His campaign is only about two months old. He's already averaging about a thousand, you know, new followers every month. So we're very happy about that. Well, you can follow him at facebook.com forward slash Don the Gorilla. Got to take a break here. Currently talking to Marcus Gibbs, marketing director for Donation Station. Learn more at donationstation.us. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney. Your business becomes show business. What's up, business rock stars? Are you ready to bring out the CEO in you? Join Julianne Nichols, CEO of Focus on You Strategy, every other Friday on That Business Show. She'll be talking with other chief entrepreneurial officers about how they grew their businesses. Remember, you could join the conversation at Focus on You Strategies, Focus Fridays Facebook group at facebook.com slash groups slash Focus Fridays. That's facebook.com slash groups slash Focus Fridays. Be the CEO of you. Did you know the biggest challenge business leaders face today is creating an engaged and productive workforce culture? Bill Meyer Ham Consulting wants to help you solve this challenge. They will help you transform your workforce culture to produce amazing business results. Call Bill Meyer Ham Consulting at 941 201 4650 today or visit BillMeyerHam.com. That's BillMeyerHam.com. Have a conversation. I knew mom wanted to stay at home. It's the center of her family, her life. But helping mom stay in her home while managing mine was just too much. Honestly, it wasn't just about me. Mom didn't want me to be her caretaker. She wanted me to be her daughter. I felt so alone until I found out about Home Instead Senior Care. When we met the people at Home Instead, we just knew they were different. The experience was personal. And most importantly, for Mom and me, I get to be her daughter again. Home Instead Senior Care. To us, it's personal. At Vane 911, we will help you feel great again. Do you have restless legs, night leg cramps, or ankle swelling? Restless legs, cramping, swelling, and tired heavy legs are often symptoms of hidden vein disease. You do not have to have visible bulging veins to have the symptoms of vein disease. The vein care specialists at Vein 911 are uniquely qualified to evaluate and treat your veins. Are you unhappy with your previous vein treatment? Vein 911 succeeds where others fail. Call Vein 911 today at 855-VEIN-911. That's 855 855- 834-6911 to book your free consultation. Vane 911. We will help you feel great again. From the Bright House Networks Traffic Center. Very heavy traffic on the eastbound side of the Howard Franklin Bridge. It is backed up from before the hump into the West Shore area. Veterans Expressway not looking too bad this morning. Only slow between Waters Avenue and Hillsboro. Also westbound I-4 a bit slow between the Selma Connector and 275. Getting word of a crash now on northbound 275 near Roosevelt and a minor one in Tampa on Columbus and Heim. See traffic problems? Call the injury firm of... This Abra- report is brought to you by Compassion International. Almost 1 billion children around the world live in extreme poverty. You can change or even save the life of one of those kids when you become a sponsor with Compassion International. Find out how you can help at Compassion.com slash radio. Today, a mix of sun and clouds, hot and humid, high 92. Tonight, partly cloudy, low 80. Tomorrow, just a 20% rain chance, a high 92. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Winds WHNZ. Missed a show? Then head over to tampabayradio.com, where all shows are available on demand. Once again, here's your host, Jamie Maloney. And we're back to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. Keep in mind, you can see the live video stream over on tampabayradio.com, in addition to the uh, the uh, radio waves and also on the iHeart uh, uh, app on the uh, smartphone. You can hear it anywhere in the uh, in the world on that. Also, if you miss the show, it's available in a number of different places, of course, on TampaBayRadio.com. But also, we put the show up on iTunes as a podcast, also as a video cast on there now as a result of uh, finding out how to do that. So we've got the video up there on iTunes in addition to the uh, audio. Also over there on SoundCloud and YouTube uh, as well. So that's three places they can see the video stream? The video stream, yeah. I got, what, right. I got the Tampa Bay Radio, I got YouTube, and then I got it on iTunes in addition to, you know, of course, being live. how many for the audio? Uh, she you know, then add SoundCloud uh, to that mix right there. So there's uh, like four, four different places. The audio appears all over the place. So I yeah. find other uh, uh, sites picking it up, and uh, if you Google it, it comes up all over the place. So, so there's no way you cannot 
find somewhere. No, to no, to you know, well, Mark is here and I talk about, you know, the power of social media and stuff. But, yeah, social media really helps to carry the message of the show. The terrestrial radio is just one medium that this message gets gets out through. And, the, and social media really helps, uh, you know, carry it. And, of course, my guests and the listeners out there have helped build up this show. But it really all comes back, you know, to the guests that have been in here yep. and exposing it to the different uh, audience out there and stuff. So thank you to all the guests and also all you, the listeners out one there the, who make this show possible. One of the coolest guests we've ever had was a multicolored gorilla. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Don the Gorilla, who's in the studio here alongside Marcus Gibbs, who is the marketing director for a donation station at Cause Marketing uh, Agency. I'm so glad everyone in Tampa. else sees it. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, no, if ever, ever, if it's not winking at you, though, though. So if you're seeing that, yeah, you had a little too much coffee or a little too much something paint. else this morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little too much paint, you said? <laughs> paint, yeah. <laughs> often, often too much paint this morning. Hanging out with the bums under the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> Marcus, you have a community advocate program. Tell us about this. The community, community advocate program was created to help smaller nonprofits. Uh, it's a small way that the community can get involved. Uh, it costs about nine ninety five monthly, and that donation goes directly to the nonprofit. But what it allows you to have also is access to all our events locally. You get discounts with some of the local vendors like Office Depot and uh, some of the wellness products that we have. We actually get free financial an analysis by some of the companies that we actually have sponsored. So this donation allows you to go to all our parties, especially our main giveaway, which is at the end of the year where we actually give away Don, one of the Don's dolls. So you can actually have your own at home. I know a lot of people are like asking, them, how we get Don? I said, well... <laughs> You know, you donate, you become a, a community advocate, and then you get invited to uh, to our major event in December, which is usually at the uh, Fort Harrison's Hotel. And you get Don the Gorilla, uh, it gets raffled off for a certain amount of money, and actually for charity, which is kind of nice. So one uh, one thing you hear from nonprofits, though, is that cause marketing, you know, requires, you know, a lot of efforts and can decrease traditional giving to the nonprofit. Is that true? Is that something that you uh, see also in the with the nonprofits that you give? How would you respond to a nonprofit if you're pitching this to them that would say something like that to you? Well, due to some of the scams that's been out there a lot, uh, people would like to get something for their money. So I, I'm partnering with a profit company, any product, for example, one of the things that we do is we give away a lot of teddy bears. People ask me, like, why teddy bears? Because everybody loves a good teddy bear. But one thing that does is raises the f funding very quickly around the area. And people always ask, where did you get that teddy bear? Why are you walking around with that teddy bear? And one of those questions that's asked a lot is to be create awareness for that nonprofit. So people are skeptical to just write a check and just give it to a blank check. They would like to know that they're actually their money is going something directly, whatever it's a product or it's a service, and they can actually tangible and touch it. So they can say, hey, this is where I donated it to. And the part of the community advocate program is what allows for that, too. So are smaller local nonprofits at a disadvantage in the cause marketing game, or is this something that benefits you know larger nonprofits out there? Well, usually what we do is uh, what we did for our, our Pour Your Art event, which is basically a, a donation art auction, where we put a lot of different nonprofits together. So we, this is where we sneak our smaller profit nonprofits in so they can work as a group. We use it as a, uh, the power of buying as a group. Like, you know, if you were at the mall, you want to be at the mall if you're a store, right? Even mm -hmm. though there's plenty of people because you get a lot of traffic. We use the same concept for smaller nonprofits. Put a lot of small ones together and create one big event. So it's a big mall so you can choose. And what happens is a lot of networking and a lot of uh, new people are, are aware of the new nonprofits that are out there. Some people don't even know that some of them exist, like Owl's Nest, which was one of the new ones that we just put in in our, our poor art, your art event which will actually has a wild, wildlife refuge where they have animals from all over and get released. How should the for-profit company market that they are cause marketing? Should they be out there saying, look at what we're doing, or should they just do it and let the, the results come in naturally by saying every a percentage of the sale goes to this nonprofit? We usually do all the marketing for them. We actually go out and do presentations for them. Uh, we actually take uh, the name and, and broadcast it widely to all our nonprofits and also during our social media events. Uh, we use tools like Don the Gorilla to be sure that they get exposure correctly. For example, Don gets around 449 views for a photograph. So we actually photograph Don with some of the uh, sponsors' products and let people know, hey, this is who's supporting you. And because of that, people have actually seen a 15 to 25% return in the products that are selling. But should the for profit company be going like, hey, look at us, we're giving money back to these uh, communities? Or should they just say, hey, we're just, we just, as part of the uh, promotions, we do this and let the, the results come in naturally? We try to make it happen organically. Yeah. That's one way we want to make sure. We don't, we don't want them t tooting their horn. That's what we're here for, to make sure if we're doing our job correctly, and we always do, uh, usually people find out who you are and what are you doing in the community? Because it's a word of mouth 
syndrome, especially in social media where they actually people see the company and they see the logos and they're actually seeing, you know, going to events that are sponsored by these companies. Now, in that last segment, we were talking about the, some of the results that you had seen for the uh, for the for-profit companies, 15, 20% returns in their investment. Uh, what are some of the results that you're seeing for the nonprofits uh, that you've worked with? Obviously, increased awareness mm-hmm. and, and, and the community, but uh, what are some of the other uh, benefits that you've seen from the companies that you've worked with on the nonprofit side? Where most nonprofits usually, uh, in every dollar that's donated in, in a regular nonprofit without our system, they usually get around 40 to 55 percent of the money that's donated and our process system right now we are all the way up to 89 percent we're trying to make it a hundred percent so for every dollar right now it's not quite there because the marketing is not there but uh, I think by the end of next year we'll be able to say that a hundred percent of every dollar goes directly to a nonprofit and, and not charge any administrative fees whatsoever uh, we're trying to get away from that administrative aspect that people are so aware of that you know CEOs and companies that uh, that are helping nonprofits make a lot of profit. We're not trying to make any from the nonprofit. So for a for-profit company out there that's considering a cause marketing uh, you know, action plan or marketing plan, how long does it take, or would you recommend that it takes to develop an effective cause marketing app plan? Well, usually it uh, depends on what product you're pushing and what company it is. Uh, usually it takes us around 35 to 45 days to put the plan together, and we start executing in six, uh, around 60 days out. So you can start with us probably in July and be out in the community probably in September with strong events and and product placement and uh, social media advertising right away. So what makes you so passionate about cause marketing? Sell it to the, uh, we got about a minute left, and uh, so sell it out there to the for-profits why they should be investing more of their dollars in cause marketing versus traditional marketing techniques. Due to the fact that it's community. It takes a village. It takes all of us together to be able to, help our own communities we always complain about the problems well if you're not part of the solution you're part of the problem so that's what we're trying to do become create awareness and be able to actually help our local communities unemployable to employable people need a ch- shot and this co- and these nonprofits actually do that for us and your next event coming up uh, on over on fort harrison in clearwater uh, july was it july 16 july 16 how can people get involved with that uh, you can go to our website uh, and get the information there or you can give us uh, you can actually uh, like Don at Don the Gorilla uh, in Facebook and get all the information the flyers are there uh, we're going to have food entertainment we're going to have we're giving away stuff we're actually giving away clothes and supplies for school so teddy bears. it's going to be a great event <laughs> Te- a little bit teddy bears also a lot of teddy bears alright good information and we uh, wish you well at the event we'll also put it up on the uh, show recap as well so Marcus Gibbs marketing director for Donation Station thanks so much for being in studio this morning thank you for having us learn more at Donation Station dot us or you can give them a call 813-850-5546 850-5546 or visit donationstation.us coming back from the break it'll be tbbo tuesdays on that business show jamie maloney for business become show business all right man good work